Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be doing a high-end $1,650 gaming PC. This PC features some really awesome price performance using some last-gen PC hardware, but we do think it's going to perform very well for the money and could be even cheaper at the time of this video's release. But before we talk about that, we have to give a big thanks to today's sponsor, Antec. We're going to be showcasing their DP502 Flux case, talking more about the Flux lineup of cases that they have to offer, and Antec has been sponsoring a couple builds here on the channel, so stay tuned for some more. We're very excited to build inside this case and talk a little bit more about it. So as Matt mentioned, this build is last gen. And really what we mean by that is basically at the time of the release of this video, there is some new stuff coming out that is probably not going to be very readily available for you. But the whole concept is that, you know, we have a 3800X, we have a 2080 Super in this build that we were able to get for really good pricing. That 2080 Super we got for around $550. And by the time this video releases, they could be even cheaper. Now, how about we go ahead and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this build and talk a little bit more about how you might be able to save some money in the near future. So for the processors, we decided to go with one of the best Ryzen processors you can get at the very moment. This is the Ryzen 7 3800X. It's an eight core 16 threaded processor that has an insane boost frequency. It's overclockable, which we are going to be able to do a little bit with this master liquid from Cooler Master. This is the ML240L and it has RGB. It's a 240 mil. It's incredibly cheap. These things are like 80 bucks and really for a 240, you cannot find any cheaper than that that has RGB on the fans and the actual cooling block. And a big thanks to ASUS for sending this motherboard over. This is the ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi board. So kind of cool, it actually has Wi-Fi built in. It has a built-in I.O. cover. It has RGB on the actual board. ROG Strix boards are really awesome. And this one is a little bit expensive. I think it's like 160 to 170 bucks. So you could save a little bit of money and you could even go X570 at this price, honestly. But b 550s Gen 4 support. It's gonna support our Ryzen 7 just fine and also really good overclocks for the RAM and everything, which we did get some high-speed RAM as well. And for RAM, you guys know we really love some nice RGB Corsair RAM. This is two 16 gig sticks making 32 gigs at 3600 megahertz RGB RAM. This is the Vengeance RGB Pro. This stuff, not super expensive for it being really good looking RGB, super tall heat sinks and just super tall RAM overall and 32 gigs at dual channel. This is going to be a really good build. And also from Corsair, we have a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, but what makes this one different? It is Gen 4. So that means lightning fast transfer and write speed. So honestly, this is the best of the best that you can get at the moment. And we're really excited to test out this Corsair SSD with its awesome looking heat sinks as well. And for the GPU, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the RTX 2080 Super. Now we picked this up used on eBay for around $550, but sometimes, well, right now actually, you might be able to get these cards for cheaper given the new RTX cards coming out and the new AMD cards coming to the market. I would not be surprised if you can get this for under $500 and at that price point, given it's probably gonna be readily available, it's a steal. So this is a really good card for 1440p, even some light 4K or 1080p high refresh rate. It's really more power than most people need need and at the price point that we're building this PC at it's a great fit great fit whoa now to today's sponsor Antec we're going to talk about this power supply this is the Antec Neo Eco Gold Zen this is a what, what we got here 700 watt power supply 80 plus gold really high rated power supply from Antec they make a lot of good cases as well but they also like to send over their power supplies to showcase for this build and 700 watts is more than enough for a PC like this now let's talk about that case. This is the DP502 Flux. Now some of the main features of this case is, well, built-in RGB fans. The Flux lineup is designed for high airflow, meaning they can have five pre-installed fans so you get really high optimal airflow and also really well-built build quality. One of the other features they want us to focus on is the fact that they actually have a five and a quarter inch bay. So if you're somebody who still uses uh, Blu-ray readers, Blu-ray burners, all that sort of stuff, you have that option with this case. Very rare on the market nowadays, but it doesn't limit the fact that has some really good airflow with these three RGB fans pre-installed in the front. It does come with dust covers for the USB ports to keep things nice and clean if you're not using your USB ports. You don't want dust in your USB ports. You also have the extra fan included to go over the power supply basement. That is a reverse blade fan, which you'll see at the end of the build montage. We're basically gonna have this fan pulling air from the power supply basement into the GPU to give better cooling performance for the graphics card. Now we will be putting that together when we build this PC and you can learn more about it during the benchmarking section. But this is kind of the main focus of the flux line is high airflow while not costing too much because this case comes in at only $70, which is a really awesome value given all the stuff that comes with it. So how about we not waste any more time and put this PC together?
All right, guys, now that we have this Ryzen 7 3800X and 2080 Super PC all put together, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now, before we dive into the benchmarks, let's talk about which games we decide to test, and those are Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone, Fortnite, Valorant, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, first up with Call of Duty Warzone, we start to see the power of the 2080 Super and 3800X. For the price that you're paying for this PC, we got some killer value here. The 2080 Super is honestly more GPU than most people need, and comparing it to a new card releasing on the market, you're probably looking at a slightly lesser performing RTX 3070, which given the fact that you cannot buy an RTX 3070 right now, means this coming in on the used market price around $500 to $550 is not that half bad, especially if you're not going to pay the uh, gouging prices of resellers on eBay for RTX 3070s. I do believe the RTX 2080 Super, once stock for the RTX 3070 and other cards settled down, will probably come in around $400, $450, and at that price, oh my goodness, the 2080 Super is an awesome value card, and for most people, more than you need. You have that awesome new NVENC encoder and the ability to play pretty much any game you want at 1080p high settings or 1440p high settings, and paired with something like the 3800X, while be it it's not the new AMD offering on the market, you're getting a lot of performance. And that performance shows some more in a game like Fortnite, which we most of the time got over 200 FPS on pro settings. The 3800X was able to stretch its legs with its higher clock speed, and do keep in mind with this video releasing after the launch of the Ryzen 5000 series, you most certainly could go with something like the 5600X, because based on the speculation out there right now, we're looking at performance that's better than anything that AMD had on the market just on their lower end CPU, so if you could manage to squeeze that CPU in there, you most certainly could get an even better gaming experience for a little bit less money, or the 3800X might be so cheap on the used market that it may be a really awesome buy and this build might be even less at the time of releasing this video, so do keep that in mind. Next up, we tested Valorant, which is another esports title we like to test, and of course it got really good results. Valorant is one of those games that's still pretty popular and people like to play it, and it goes to show just exactly what kind of performance you can get on an esports title like this. Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, they're all in like the same tier, and this PC would have no problems playing and streaming that if you really wanted to. And lastly, our AAA title of choice, Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Ultra Settings, we got over 100 plus FPS. This PC can pretty much play any game coming to the market. If you're waiting for a game like Cyberpunk, this PC can most certainly handle Cyberpunk, given that it's not going to be absolutely insane. And pretty much any game you're going to play at 1080p, 1440p, and maybe some 4K lower settings if you want to. This PC overall is a really powerful system, and honestly, more powerful than the system I even have at home, given the fact that I don't play any crazy games. This is a really Really awesome PC for the money and keep in mind guys you most certainly don't need to have the latest and greatest especially if the used market gives you really good deals on GPUs like the 2080 Super and CPUs like the 3800X this PC could easily be less than the price of today's video very soon so be sure to check the links in the description down below for the most updated links and hopefully you can part together an awesome PC just using one generational hardware that is most certainly not obsolete so now that we finished today's benchmarking rotation how about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so as you probably expected, the 2080 Super with 3800X performs exceptionally well in pretty much every game you could throw at it. This combo is a really good value, especially with used market prices probably going to change here in the next couple of weeks or at the time this video released, they could be already changed, but the 2080 Super at sub $500 is a great card for pretty much any game you wanna play. It has the NVENC encoder, so great for live streaming, and just overall, this is a great workstation slash gaming PC, and if you wanna go with this PC, definitely check the link in the description down below. Use those affiliate links, they do help us out. But yeah, check up to date pricing. This could be way cheaper right now when you're actually watching this video. And also on a side note, basically everything in this build is still relevant. Just the 3800X and the 2080 Super are technically one gen behind by the time this build releases, but the RAM, motherboard, power supply case, all that stuff is still totally up to date. So basically this build is just ready to go. And if you wanted to even get all new parts, then you totally could. So overall, we're very impressed with this PC build for the money. We would highly suggest it, especially if you take advantage of used market pricing, but yeah, Links down below once again. Comment if you like this PC. Let us know what you think of this beautiful RGB and uh, we're gonna send it home. So if you haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toaster bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Gotta remove my dust, dust covers. Cover. Gotta remove my dust covers. <laughs> <laughs>